Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Mars transiting the fourth house in a natal chart. Now, if your house size is average size, and if Mars is only direct during the transit, then on average, Mars will traverse your house for approximately two months. However, if your house size is larger and or Mars is in direct motion at any time during the transit, it will be in that house longer. Well, anyway, people, first thing I look at, which stands out to me when Mars transits your fourth natal fourth house, is that it could be that situations on the home front might be a little bit more contentious and acrimonious than usual. You might find that if you have any, if you're living with anybody and there's any family members in your home, that maybe they might be a little bit more combative, a little bit more quarrelsome than usual. And you may be as well. You might be a little bit more exasperated at certain things going on in the home that maybe you, they didn't really didn't bother you as much before, but might be really starting to hit home, uh, so to speak, at this time. Now, it could also be that at this point in, in time, you have to remember that when you look at uh, when you look at Mars, it could be about enterprise and initiative and, and starting things. And maybe this is a time where you take action and maybe even uh, buy a new home or at least start the process for this. You may, uh, it might be something connected with real estate in general, just some property. You might purchase something you, you might have been procrastinating on for a little bit and you made a decision to buy it and, and this might be the time for initiative and actually going after this a little bit more aggressively uh, than usual. This could be uh, a period where there might be a lot of activity around the house now. It might be a time where you're, you have a plethora of projects going on at your home and you, you might really, instead of being busy, might be more a vast understatement. If you're the type of person that's generally very stagnant and sedentary, this could be a time where you're, you go completely the other way uh, at your home. And you, you might be really, you might have situations such as home repairs, which really almost forces you to be a little bit more active at home. There could also be perhaps that your the fourth house is also connected with emotional security and this might be a period where you might this might be emphasized a little bit more there might be uh, you got to remember that that mars can be associated with sports so maybe this is a time where maybe being uh, doing some kind of sports activity or sports competition or, or working out vigorously building the body for example might be tied in to perhaps greater emotional security maybe during this period and another thing to look at uh, with with Mars too is that Mars does uh, govern sex and when you look at this maybe if you're unattached and you don't have a significant other or romantic partner at the present time maybe you meet somebody in, in somebody that maybe a family member introduces you to for example and which might lead to perhaps potentially an intimate relationship uh, this could be uh, something where you have really a lot more abundance of energy at home right now, a lot more so than you may ordinarily have. This could also be a time when we look at the, the fourth house, the fourth house is connected with our heritage. And this could be a time where maybe you might become a little bit more angry over perhaps remarks that might seem like they're ridiculing or derogatory remarks that are associated with your heritage. It might not necessarily be to you directly in a conversation. It could be something you hear on TV. And these things might make you a little bit more angry uh, than they ordinarily would. So those are some things to look at when Mars transits your fourth house in your natal chart. Could also be a time where you might be festering a little bit more over things connected uh, with maybe some past wrongs or, or things that somebody, some people may have done to you in the past that might uh, have made you angry or made you somewhat exasperated. And you might be reminiscing and thinking about this uh, at this time. And it, it's important to remember in the spirit, try not to lament 
over past runs that somebody did because most of the time there's nothing you can do about it at this point in time so and really you might be this could be a general period where home matters might just really dominate in general even if you're a period person that's generally rather extroverted and gregarious this could be more of a time where you're really emphasizing things uh, connected uh, with the home and also keep in mind that the fourth house is also associated with the end of life now when you look at this this could be a time where maybe you might be uh, mars is about initiation and, and starting and, and really you might be more aggressively going maybe starting things that are connected like say with a retirement plan or, or trying to start a savings for your latter years and, and really thinking of probably trying to do things to get yourself ready for the latter part of your life even if you're not even in that stage right now this might be a time where you might be starting to do things for preparation of it and if you are in in that latter you feel you're in that latter part of your life this could be a time where you still may emphasize uh, this more and, and really try to do things that are going to be uh, initiate things if you if you procrastinate and on them that are going to help you in this uh, time of life and being able to set up some savings plan for example if you haven't already well anyway it's also important to look at the sign that Mars is in during this transit as this could flavor the transit now let's say for example that Mars is in Libra for either the majority of the time or the whole time it transits the fourth house well this could indicate that much energy might be used in reconciliation and negotiation being in the fourth house it could be matters pertaining to the to the home to the mother perhaps and the home in general now the fact though is is that we are dealing dealing with mars so maybe it could be a time where you might still be direct and straightforward with people connected with your home and family life but at the same time you might do so in a more in a more liber fashion in a more diplomatic way but still be direct at that same time now another example let's say that mars is in uh, Scorpio uh, during uh, during this time uh, for either the whole or the entire or, or the majority of the transit in your fourth house this could indicate perhaps much energy expended in looking beyond the superficial uh, of as far as the as far as looking at the soup looking beyond what is superficial and in dealing with upheavals and crisis and now being in the fourth house they could pertain to those matters perhaps at home and and with family in general now it's also important to look at the aspects that are made from this transit uh, by mars to the fourth house those aspects that are made to your natal planets and points as this could impact the transit now let's say for example that transiting mars in your fourth house is making a square in conjunct or opposition to your natal sun well this could indicate that you may have perhaps even an overabundance of energy and and maybe and maybe be a little bit uh, more combative uh, in this period and being in the fourth house that could be perhaps associated with family members now let's take another example let's say that transiting mars is making a sextile or trine to your natal moon well this could indicate a strong ability to control angry and acrimonious emotions and being in the fourth it could be uh it could perhaps be home related uh projects and connected uh connected with the family so anyway people that'll conclude this youtube um astrological segment for mars transiting the fourth house in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about Mars transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well